Hello viewers, for DIYers here, back with another tutorial video for everyone. In this particular video here, I'll be showing you how to clean a dirty or stained headliner. For this, I'm using my 2006 Dodge Ram as an example. This is the first chance I've had to go over the upholstery on the interior since I purchased this truck. Newer vehicles are seeing different materials being used, however this material here is a more common type that is found on anything 10 years and older. A similar process can also be applied to newer materials as well. It's always important to test any cleaning techniques or products on a small area to ensure it won't cause any damage. This is a technique you can use at home without a bunch of fancy equipment, such as what professional detailers use. Starting out, here's what I'll be using. An important part which gets overlooked is making sure your vacuum's attachments are clean. If you have used them on something dirty, the residue may be left behind in a tip, and as you touch your headliner, you may leave behind marks. Also make sure there is no sharp edges on the tip, this can damage the headliner too. I have a few different types of brushes, some are coarse and some are soft. A very soft toothbrush can be used, but sometimes I do find them to be a little too coarse. I have a round detailing brush which is great for a variety of areas. These come in a kit of three, I have had these for quite a few years. I'll include the link in the video description if you want to purchase these. They're very soft, you don't need to worry about them damaging the fibers in the fabric, especially since headliners tend to be a more delicate material. I have coarser brushes here, these are strictly for a backer when using a microfiber cloth. Do this for a larger area, a microfiber cloth is recommended, it does well on delicate fabric removing any dirt or stains. The fibers on these almost act as a soft brush. Gloves are also recommended, many cleaners can dry out your skin causing problems which I've experienced over the years. I also have a bucket of water to rinse the brush so you're not spreading around the dirt. Rinse the brush in between spot cleans. I have a couple different fabric cleaners. The one I prefer is from my local detailing supplier. It's a multi-purpose cleaner that comes as a concentrate and is mixed with water based on its application. I'll provide before and after photos further on in the video. Start by vacuuming the headliner to remove any loose debris. Headliners are the least touched area in a vehicle, so any dirt doesn't tend to get pushed into the material versus seats or floor carpet. Take your time and be careful. Around any hooks or trim components, you can use a brush to agitate the surface and this can remove quite a bit of dirt. For spot stains, apply the cleaning solution to a soft brush first. I prefer doing this over applying it to the area as it doesn't tend to oversaturate the material and you don't have to worry about any spray falling down on other interior components. I'm just spraying this close to the headliner for video purposes. Then agitate the surface. You may find working in multiple directions will help with working out that stain. Rinse the brush. This can sometimes help moisturize the surface a little more as the brush is damp. If you're worried about any splatter from cleaning the area with a brush, you can cup the area using a microfiber cloth. When satisfied, apply some cleaner to the microfiber cloth and wipe down the overall general area. With only cleaning a spot stain, you may be left with a small clean spot, so this will help blend the area along with removing any light solution from those spot cleaned areas. It's always important to not oversaturate the area or it can cause the material to separate from the backer. For the larger area, it may be harder to see on video, but you'll be able to see this on the before and after comparisons. The whole area was quite dirty. For larger areas such as this, a microfiber cloth is the best solution. Apply the cleaning solution to the cloth. The cloth shouldn't be overly saturated, just damp, and the cloth isn't pre-soaked in any water. Applying it to the cloth instead of the headliner, this will help reduce any mist in the interior. Then wipe down the headliner, working in multiple directions. This time around I'm using a brush for a backer behind the cloth. A larger brush does make it more efficient and easier. Light pressure is only needed. Work in multiple directions to push the fibers around ensuring any dirt is removed. Around any trim components, the microfiber cloth can be used by hand or you can even use a small light brush just like what was done in the spot stains. As for the sun visors, these typically have a similar type of material. The exact same process applies. Inspect both sides of the sun visor for any staining and clean as needed. Spot stains can be done with a brush and a microfiber cloth can be used for the whole area. When cleaning the sun visors or the headliner, do not use a coarse brush as this will damage the material. When finished with the visors, leave them down so they're able to dry properly and they won't trap any moisture in between the visor and headliner. 
As a final step to remove any light moisture, promote drying, and fluff up the material fibers, I prefer to go over the area with a vacuum. This is a wet dry vacuum, which won't be damaged when it's exposed to moisture. Working in different directions, some materials may fluff up the fibers better. And finally, here's some before and after photos of the headliner to show the difference. Lighter colors will show stains easier, and they may be harder to remove. This will depend on the material and what has caused the stain. If you haven't overly saturated the material, it should be dry within a few hours. Leave the windows open to promote air flow and leave your sun visors down so any moisture between the sun visors and headliner will evaporate. New videos are released every week on my channel. Be sure to hit that thumbs up button. It's a huge help to me and leave a comment below if you found this tutorial helpful. If you're not a subscriber, be sure to also hit that subscribe button. Thank you for watching.